welcome welcome my dear friends welcome myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my youtube channel ayurveda academy today's video is regarding the drug review of one of the important ayurvedic kashaya or the decoction that is drakshadi kashaya myself professor dr rajendra deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine that is kai chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kriya sharira my whatsapp number for communication 9226810630 why uh, we are studying this particular kashayas because in the south india ayurvedic kashaya medicines are very popular and proved as a most effective medicine for treating various health problems these kashayas or kashaya tablets are less exposed in the middle and north part of the india this particular drakshadi kashaya has a reference in ashtanga rudaya chikitsa sthan chapter 1 jwara chikitsa jwara means pyrexia or the fever ye dekhiye this is drakshadi kashayam tablet here on the right side drakshadi kwat goliya or here on the left side is a drakshadi kashay in the liquid format this drakshadi kashay it is very good for the pitta diseases or pitta problem so this is the drug review which will include the contents properties uses and doses this drakshadi kashay is a best ayurvedic medicine for treating the chronic fever especially chronic fever try to understand vertigo vertigo jaundice that is infective hepatitis kamala and headache that is shirashula drakshadi kashaya this particular decoction of the tablet contains are draksha that is resins vitis vinifera this is the best fruit actually this is eatable this is from our fruits this is pitta shamak and very good appetizer yashti madhu or the licorice glyceriza glabra is again anti inflammatory lodh that is simplocos resimosa having the kashay or the astringent test so it removes the clay or the unwanted toxins from the secretions hemidesmus indicus that is sariva this is very coolant is also reduces the ushna tikshna properties of pitta are definitely controlled by sheet virya cold potency of sariva then nut grass that is cypress rotundus this is the very good arm pachak or antibacterial toxins are get clarified viral toxins are also get cleaned up with using this musta remember musta nagarmotha okay emlika officinalis that is amla this is the best rasayan for all the dhatus rasa rakta maus med asthi majja shukra kamala kesar or the lotus is also coolant padmak is also anti pitta all the ma major of the ingredients are having the cooling effect on the body okay so they reduces the ushna tikshna properties of pitta dosha hot and penetrating problems okay ushira or the khas and safed chandan both are also pitta shamak so this is draksha can you see grapes sariva all are coolant rasayana amala chavan prash musta or the nagarmotha and chandana this is very very cool in potency ayurvedic actions first on the dosha this is 100% pitta shamak reduces the ushna and tikshna properties that is hot and penetrating irritation inflammation will be getting reduced dhatu it is best acting on the rasa dhatu rakta dhatu maus dhatu and majja dhatu agni it balances the agni because musta is taking care of toxins which are generated due to the indigestion and what is the name in ayurveda that are the endotoxin as well as the exotoxin endo means generated due to the faulty metabolic process and the word in ayurveda is aam Uh, arm is a toxin and whichever the mycobacterium tuberculosis influenza 
any bacterial, viral, fungal, all the microorganisms, they create the toxin that is also called as arm in Ayurveda. And arm pachaka dravyas are removing, taking care of these toxins. Srotas, Rakshadi Kashaya, gives the strength to the Rasavar Srotas, Raktavar Srotas, and Majjavar Srotas. Rakta Dushti is removed. Blood is get cleaned, very clean because of the use of Rakshadi Kashaya. It's also mild laxative. And the best treatment for Pitta Dosha is Virechana, laxative, purgation. Useful in the Pitta Prakop due to the increase in Ushna Tikshna properties. What are the properties of Pitta Dosha? Pittam Sasneha, Tikshnoshnam, Lagu, Vistram, Saram, Dravam. So Pitta is vitiated, disturbed with the two reasons. Sometimes Dravagun is increased and that is indigestion. And sometimes only Ushna and Tikshna Gun are increased because of the consumption of hot and spicy food, alcohol, smoking, tobacco, anger, late at night awakening, that all called the Pitta Prakopa. And Raksha Dikasha is cooling in nature. Action, antipyretic. Pitta Jajwara. Whenever there is a burning, burning of the eyes, burning of the hand, burning of the feet, burning of the head, Huh? Whenever burning is there, inflammation is there, drakshadi kashaya. Antacid, good antacid. Anti inflammatory, so useful for IBD or IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Antioxidant, okay. Adaptogenic, adjust with the environmental changes. Alternative, tending to restore the health. Further actions, anti-ulcerogenic, ulcer is get cured, healing property is with the jeshta mother, huh? carminative also creates the proper digestion. Polagog promotes the discharge of bile, purification of blood, digestive inaction, hematic, hemoglobin is definitely increased, best for pandu vyadi or anemia, increases the RBC count and hemoglobin count, mild laxative and also tonic. Indications where we can use this Rakshadi Kashaya. Post fever convalescence. Whenever there is a weakness, whenever there is a debility after a long run of fever, it may be the typhoid fever, it may be the infective hepatitis jaundice, it may be the dengue fever. So any type of fever, bacterial, viral, after fever, the person suffers from the weakness and loss of appetite where you can use the drakshadi kashaya. Pitta and pitta vataja jwara. Jwara means fever. You can use drakshadi kashaya as a supportive medicine. Nausea and vomiting due to the acidity, due to the gastritis, drug induced, alcohol induced, best drakshadi kashaya. Fainting attack, burning sensation, burning of eyes, excessive screening time. Nowadays, we are having all the time in front of the mobile, in front of the computer, in front of the desktop, in front of the television. So eyes always start getting tired earlier. Asthenopia, watering from the eyes, burning of the eyes, drakshadi kashaya, burning of the hands and feet in diabetic neuropathy. Menopause, hot flushes. All of a sudden, very hot feeling, huh? like uh, fumes are coming from the body. Drakshadi Kashaya, alcohol toxication, alcoholism and hangover, and also to treat the anemic patients. Another further indications, bleeding disorders, any type of bleeding in the body, epistaxis, nose bleeding, excessive thirst, polydipsia, all are pitta problems, jaundice, infective hepatitis due to the virus A, virus B, virus C, virus D, anything, Drakshadi Kashaya, supportive medicine. Fatigue, general weakness and fainting attacks, vertigo, headache, and loss of sleep, insomnia. Rakshadi Kasai is used in the children, one half to half, one tablet for three times in a day, similarly with the very old people, senior citizen. But in the middle age group, you can use two tablets three times in a day or four teaspoon of medicine with equal amount of water. Drakshadi Kashaya, in addition to that, some medicines you can prescribe to take care of the nutritive power of the 
body to increase the nutrition. Dhanvantaram Tailam 101 and Kshirabala Tailam 101 soft gel capsules can be supportive medicines to increase the strength of the body. Lakshadi Kasha is more useful in Vata or Pitta or Vata Pitta Prakriti as well as the symptoms due to Vata and Pitta. This is Drakshadi Kasha. You can give the supportive, best supplement in the fever cases, Maha Sudarshana Ganavati. Maha Sudarshana Ganavati of the Vaidyanath company. You, all, you should keep this tablet at your home always. And whenever you suspect any fever, symptomatically, you must give Maha Sudarshana Ganavati two tablets three times in a day with Drakshadi Kashaya. Whenever there is heating problem, in addition to Drakshadi Kashaya, internally, Chandra Kala Ras, two tablets three times in a day, and Kam Dudhavati, two tablets three times in a day. If the patient is very weak and tired and fatigued, then in addition to Drakshadi Kashaya, you can use Shatavari Kalpa, two teaspoon with the milk at the breakfast, supportive medicine with Drakshadi Kashaya. SOS, as and when required, Pancha karma virechan is best for pitta prakopa. Safety in therapeutic dose, it is very safe and well tolerated. No side effects are observed. Patya patya, what should be done and what should not be done. When you are giving drakshadi kashaya, adequate physical and mental rest is mandatory, compulsory. Light anti pitta diet, that is green gram chichadi, huh? that is munga. Green gram means munga dal. Anti vata nutritious diet, pranayama. For example, this is right nostril, this is left nostril. Left nostril, this is right, is for sun, giving more heat in the body. And when you inhale with the left, chandra nadi pranayam, left nostril giving you the cooling effect. So, left nostril inhale and right nostril exhale. And that is called as the chandra nadi. So, apatya, what should not be taken when you are taking the drakshadi kashaya or drakshadi kashaya tablets? Chickpea, green peas, field beans, moth beans, cow pea. This is vata prakopak, harbara, vatana, pauta, matki, all should be avoided in Marathi. I speak also in Marathi. So, peas and beans should be avoided. They are vata prakopak, peristatic moments, then there will be spasm in the abdomen. Vata prakopak, ahar, vihar, no non vegetarian food which is very heavy to digest. Alcohol smoking, pitta prakopak, late at nights, pitta prakopak food, like very spicy, pungent, irritating, sour, salty food. No, excessive anger is also bad. Fasting or dieting is not tolerated with drakshadi kashaya. Exposure to the hot, hot atmosphere, like hot sun, working near the furnace, working in the chemical factories, it should not be done. So, this Rakshadi Kasha is available from Arya Vaidya Shara Kottakal, AVN Arya Vaidya Nilaya, Arya Vaidya Pharmacy, and Nagarjuna Ayurveda Group. My dear friends, although I am giving you all the information, this is typical educational video. So, please don't do any self medication. Kaunsi bhi bimari me yathavashya kethakal vaidya kiya salalena bahothi jirurat hai. If you are suffering from different problems like rheumatoid, cervical spondylosis, paralysis, or IBS, alcohol problem, then definitely you can contact Ayurveda Academy. We give the paid online consultation. I hope you have liked this video. So don't be selfish. Please, please share this video to all your friends, all your WhatsApp group. Make a thumbs up, like, give your positive, encouraging feedback. And I request all of you, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So thank you very much. And I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye. All the best.